there are lots of beautiful Miltoniopsis hybrids, which are much easier to grow indoors than my Miltoniopsis species. For example, honey, Miltoniopsis Morris Chestnut H171. Yes, God, honey, we have a Miltoniopsis orchid named after Morris Chestnut. Now, happy Black History Month to that. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Orchids for Dummies, a place where you can get your life. And in today's video, I will be informing you guys and educating you on the Miltonia including Miltoniopsis orchids. Stay tuned, foul pal. When people talk about the Miltonia orchids, they usually refer to both Miltonia and Miltoniopsis orchids. The reality is that these two type of orchids come from different places and have almost opposite requirements in light and temperature. People also use the nickname Pansy Orchids to refer to both Miltonia and Miltonia Opsis. But in fact, Miltonia species looks nothing like the garden flower Pansy. Miltonia Opsis is the one that looks like the sweet looking Pansy. Yes, it does. The orchid that I have is the Miltonia Opsis Sun Glow Amazing. Okay? Now, the Miltoniopsis orchids are Incidium relatives. They are symbodial, epiphytic, and sometimes lithophytic orchids from the cloud forest of Colombia, Costa Rica, Panama, Venezuela, and Ecuador. There are five currently recognized species with the Miltoniopsis. Now, the warmer growing species properly Miltonias originate from the area of Brazil and more closely resemble large flowered Oncidiums, okay? So that is how you would be able to tell the difference between the two. One is round and pansy-like and the other is like an Oncidium. Therefore, even if you get a hybrid that has the name Miltonia on the tag, if it has the Miltoniopsis attributes, then you should treat it like a Miltoniopsis. Now, if you are new to this station, Orchids for Dummies, the People's Channel, is a no judgment zone, okay? Now, I am going to try to pronounce the name of the type of species that I have. And that's gonna be a Miltoniopsis Warshkawisi. Now, these flowers, okay, they're going to be four inch wide and white with yellow markings in the middle, okay? Now, this is my Miltoniopsis that I have named Maxi after my beautiful Fel Pal Maxine. The flowers of the Miltoniopsis not only smell like heaven, but they also look dainty and innocent. With particularly happy plant, you could even find up to three spikes. One, two, three. Okay, <laughs> with 12 brown bulbs from the base of a mature pseudobulb. Stay tuned, foul pals. As you may have heard, the Miltoniopsis species culture is not easy. Now, you need to provide at least 50% humidity, but ideally 70 to 80%. The more humidity you can provide, the more heat tolerant your Miltoniopsis will be. That's why they are not suited for indoor culture. Now, the temperature is crucial for the cool growing plants. Unless temperatures are kept under 80 degrees, they may not flower. The minimum temperature is 50 to 55 degrees. Thus, these are really better thought as an intermediate grower because they need intermediate temperatures throughout the year. Not too hot and not too cold. Now, the light requirement of Miltoniopsis is fairly low. You may provide your plants with slightly higher light than the intensity for a Phalaenopsis orchid. 
North facing windows are the only one you don't want to place your beautiful Miltoniopsis orchid. Now, monitor the color of the leaves as they are the best indication to tell you whether your lovely Miltoniopsis orchids are receiving too much or too little light. Light green, like I have, it means <clears throat> they are receiving enough light. But if they are totally pale or even yellow light, you should put them a bit farther from the light source because direct sunlight burns the leaves within a short period of time. Miltoniopsis have thin roots and they are sensitive to water with mineral content as well as fertilizers. Watering should be regular. The substrate should be slightly dry between waterings, but it should not be constantly soggy. The substrate should contain small to medium grade bark, sphagnum moss, and some coconut chips. Okay. Fertilizer should be applied regularly when the plant is actively growing, such as mine. And you should stop applying them when the blooms become visible. Pansy orchids have a prolonged dormancy period when you should lower temperatures and reduce watering. As I said earlier, Miltoniopsis hybrids are usually less demanding and easier to grow in your home. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what is the most that you have spent on a orchid. I purchased this Pansy Orchid for $50 and it was um, in full spike. It is now just starting to bloom. Now, I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for tuning in. Until next time!